Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Lone Stark. So today I have massive news because we're going to talk about DirectX 11 and 9. So Lone Stark, they just confirmed that the new support for the Lone Stark with running DirectX 11 is actually going to be in the Europe and the US version. And that is actually like huge news because the Russian version is still running on DirectX 9. As you can see here, of course the game runs very smooth for me and it runs very well and you know, it's a fun game and everything works but i just remember that when guild wars 2 they went from direct x 9 to direct x 11 the whole game changed for me i got like 50 more fps the game just felt more uh balanced it just the whole game just felt more better and it also allows that the developers now can add even more shaders to the game even you know even more details it just opens up a whole new world for the game but for me the most important thing is performance and basically as you can see here what they're saying here is greetings heroes today we want to share that long stack recent upgrade to direct x11 will be avail available in our version for the game at launch this means that we you will see improve of um, frame rate, performance, and leading to an overall smoother experience, gameplay experience. As always, thank you for your patience as we work to integrate this pro upgrade into our version of the game. We will see you in occasion next week. I'm actually like, um, I wonder how much work it actually was for Amazon because I, okay, I mean they have their own version of Lost Ark with their own language in and so on, so on, so on. But I mean, isn't I? I was just thinking like, if. Smilegate didn't just like give them a patch and they just patched it and done. But I guess that's a reason for why the Russian server hasn't done it yet. Because I mean, if it was that easy, they would. But it's probably because Russia's server already, you know, the game is live. They can't just like change it a lot and then boom, you have like millions of players who cannot play anymore. That's probably the reason for that. Um, you probably, maybe you're sitting right now thinking, Okay, so how is this gonna change? Like, how how much is it? Like, is it is it a lot or is it a little bit? Well, I found this very very nice uh, Reddit uh, discussion from KHBH nine nine nine. So shout out to this guy for for posting this. But um, he basically made a, like a performance test, or he found this, and you know, I I think he more likely found this on Lost Ark's website, and then posted this to us. So basically they're doing a test here with a very like that's like high-end gear where in with Darius X9 it's you they he got like 86 frame rate but with the Darius 11 he got 130 which I believe I'm actually what what is this average oh so that's the average one so like I guess this is like the average one so so he actually got up to 242 and 208 Ah, and the, the one in the middle is like 1% low frame rate. Okay, so it's... But, but still, you, you can see the upgrade from 9 to 11. Like, it's it, it's insane how much it's going to do different. And with a Ryzen 5 only, instead of a 9, you got from 185 to 218. And with this in the middle here, still increase. And then they also did like a graphic card test. So they're basically showing that different resolutions um and then they show here with a very big resolution like a 4k resolution up here as you can see um they went from i mean is this like a comparison i'm oh yeah yeah 11 and 9. so basically still you can see the difference here like that's that's pretty cool like it's it's it it means if you have a potato machine um, your game is going to run even better. But also the other way, if you have like the newest in-game, like if you have the best gaming gear in the world, it's going to mean a lot of you, for you. Because with Darius X9, it's not it's not really able to use your high performance gear. And I remember that from Guild Wars. Even if I had like the best graphic card on the market, the game felt like shit. <laughs> but then they implemented Darius 11 and now the Guild Wars 2 feels amazing on my PC. And I think the same is going to be here. You're just going to feel like such an increase in FPS and the game is just going to feel better and, you know, and all that. But again, it, it depends on Amazon because if they just, I mean, on, on Smilegate, if they just begin to put in a lot of new shaders and graphic and stuff like that, then the frame rate is going to go back on what it was before. But that's probably settings you can disable. But that's the thing. Um yeah but still we can see like the awesome improvement here so if you have like if, if this is one of your graphic cards you can see on the screen right now you can see that then they have done like a test with nvidia's graphic cards also in 4k 
Uh, my card is not here. I have a 260, so uh, they don't want to talk about that. Um, but that's 4K. I don't. I have run 4K. Uh, that's uh, still a high resolution that I'm running, but not a graphic card I have. Oh yeah, yeah, you can just see. You, you, you can pause the video and see your resolution. That's not. No, 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 no. Oh, that was that's my graphic card down here. But again, that's a higher resolution that I'm run, running right now. So if you find like my resolution, uh, there you go. 90, okay, that's my resolution. And that's my graphic card down there. So that means I will be going from 155 to 185. Average. That's cool. I like that. I like that. It's. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, I have a 144 hertz screen, so I'm not going to go over 144, but... It's nice to hear that I can, if I, if I ever bought a 240 hertz screen or something like that. But yeah, so um, great news. I mean, it's 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 a revelation in news. It's it's awesome. Then we have the question: When are they going on DirectX 12? But I, I haven't really. I mean, the main games I'm playing, I haven't seen them actually enabling DirectX 12 in a, in a have they? Is is WoW running with it? In Fortnite, you can unlock it, but uh, you, you can pick it, but it says beta. So I haven't really tried. I don't like the word beta in, in a game, so I'm, I'm not running with that. But yeah, so big news. So if you're running with a potato machine, uh, the game should be running better. And so if you have played the Russian version and you're like, oh, the game runs so bad. Don't then don't think the game on the Europe or NA version is going to run bad, too, because that has a big potential to actually be working then because they have upgraded the engine and if you're watching this from russia and you think oh when are we getting it i actually don't know but i would believe that you're gonna get it soon ish since the korean version has it now and the europe and na version has it now so i'm pretty sure that um uh, isn't it like my.com who's the, who's the publisher of that game in russia should get it out soon i would i would assume what else thanks for watching everyone it was a pleasure making this video and on the 8th of February Rollstock will be releasing and I will be live streaming it also. So if you want to see a 24 hour live stream of Lost Ark on the 8th of February, well, you, you can read, if you don't have bought the Fauna pack or you just want to watch a stream while you play, you can watch my stream. It's up to you. It's going to start at 6 p.m. CET um, and that's also where the servers are going to go live. So I hope you see it and I'm going to stream on youtube.com slash DK, this channel basically. So thanks for watching, have a great evening and see you in another video. Bye.